Hey y'all, this is A.L. Thick Madame and this is the recap review for Put A Ring On It. This is the reunion special. They are only doing one episode, so this is it <laughs> for this season. <sighs> y'all, uh, I'm hopeful that this will be brief as far as the reunion is concerned because I have some other stuff to discuss that has to do with some of the people on this show after I'm done telling y'all what happened in this episode. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to do couple by couple. So they showed Sean and uh, LaRonda, and they basically just went over what all happened. They brought out people who they have dated and went over why Sean had the reaction that he had when he got really, really emotional. And Dr. Nicole said that, you know, that's just... Uh, as far as when LaRonda seemed as if she was coddling him, she was like, no, that was showing love and affection. And so, of course, Sean was appreciative that she said that because he probably felt some type of way that the people on the internet and all of that were calling him soft and whatever else when all he was doing was showing emotion. I, I just felt like he was like, woo. I was just like, woo, you doing a whole lot. And my thing is, I understand it's because of fear of, you know, well, what if she really ends up liking these people? What if they are able to do something to grab her attention in a way that I can't and then they take her away from me? People have to just realize that if somebody can take somebody away from you, they were yours to begin with. I learned that a long, 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 long time ago. So anyway, uh, yeah. They ended up looking at their ring, well, her ring. I said they because, you know, two people received rings and their rings were, you know, they had a moment. <laughs> and so the host is Egypt Sherrod. Dr. Nicole is there. And, you know, I mean, everybody seems like they are, you know, ooh, acting like everything was just amazing, y'all. We already know that that's not what it is. Uh... But as far as Sean and LaRonda are concerned, they're good. They're just, he just has to be able to calm down and understand that life is happening. Uh, they are adapting to their work situations because his line of work is completely different from hers. And they're just going to have to learn how to communicate their needs and desires as far as like, okay, if I'm doing this, project if i'm working on this or if i'm doing this i need you to be able to engage in conversation with me sometimes sometimes i want to talk about these things like i feel like that's a part of the conversation uh as far as communication is concerned for them that they're gonna have to work on and that's cool they seem to be all right okay so now moving along to eric and jessica you know i ain't no relationship expert but I'm sorry, I don't see it for them because how you go from arguing all day, every day, you say you have seen the playback of everything that has happened. They showed their dates and brought their dates on there and, you know, and even had moments where they were like, oh, well, I feel triggered because of this that was being said. And I didn't like how uh, Leilani was t all touchy feely on him like this. Girl, I'm, I'm trying to understand. Like, I don't understand. Did y'all not watch the complete playback? Because, like I said before, if these people were seeing what was unfolding as we are seeing it unfold, it would be a completely different reaction. Completely different. Because bits and pieces are fed to these people. And they are led to believe something else. Especially if you was doing the most. Like the Eric's of, of the world. So, anyway, uh... But they try to make it seem like, oh, everything is great. And I'm just like, how is everything great when y'all argue all day, every day? Y'all was arguing all day, every day before y'all got on the show. Y'all was arguing all day, every day while the show was going on. Apparently, y'all still argue all day, every day. But y'all want to try to make it seem like it's cool. But okay, go off though. So anyway, the meat and potatoes of all of this. Because <laughs> pretty much the episode was 75, if not 85% about... Uh, them, meaning Alexia, Kai, and Smoke. All right, okay, so 
let's go ahead and get into it then. So they went over their journey and how everything happened. And they actually brought dates and things out there that they went on. And one of the people who Alexia went on a date with, he, you know, he was pretty much robbed of getting to know her. And she was like, yeah, I, you know, I feel stupid. You know, because Egypt asked, you know, well, how do you feel looking back on everything and seeing how everything unfolded? And she was like, I, I pretty much feel stupid. I feel dumb because she basically was putting all her eggs in one basket, which was smoke. And look where it ended up. Look look how, how everything ended up. Like, and he was out here living his best life with the first person that he set it off with. So... <laughs> the one guy that she gave one date to and barely gave him any attention, he demanded <laughs> uh, a second date. And so they wanted to know whether or not she would actually entertain a second, third, or fourth date. And she was like, yeah, fifth, sixth, seventh, whatever. So I was like, okay. We're just going to ignore that the other man is there. You had a great connection with him. Okay, then. We're we going to ignore that. It's okay. So... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, oh, to me, Alexia's hair was everything. Now, I understand that that is not a new hairstyle. It was everything, though. I'm here for it. It was full. It was nice. When I used to cut my hair, I went way shorter than that. And either my hair was long or it was shorter than that. So I never was able to have a full-on like bob situation unless I was actually doing bob braids. So yeah, I was here for it. That bob was everything. It was cute to me. Uh, so yeah. So anyway, eventually they bring Kai out and you know, Smoke is there. And he looking crazy. I'm just like, I can't. I really was trying to root for him because there are people who are are aware that what they're doing is not working and they do want to settle down and they want to cut out all the foolishness. And I was hopeful that that was Smoke's situation, but it was not. Um, I don't know if any of y'all are following some of the people who have done exclusive interviews with some of these folks, but there is a guy who uh, it randomly popped up in my recommendations and he had done an interview or two with Alexia and he just completed like a second interview or just uploaded the second part of an interview that he did with Kai. Now, I had been meaning to watch the one that he did with Alexia because I think that was done a week ago. Kai, he did one, I think he did two, like I said, but he ended up doing a full-on situation yesterday. So I'm thinking it was like after either before or after this came on. So yeah, y'all. Uh, so like I was trying to tell y'all, I'm gonna get to it, I'm gonna get to it, but some things came out. So let me just tell y'all the rest of what happened on this and then I'm gonna get into what was said. Anyway, so they're on the show and they done brought Kai out. And so they're trying to get her side of the story and already i'm like okay so we just go come on here line we, we just go come on here line off rip because it's like why is it that you need to confer with him as to when y'all initially you know when, when did y'all actually link up because i'm thinking that they had sex long before the third date or right after the third date like he is insisting has happened or whatever so she was like well what did he say and everybody looking like we asked you though. So what is you talking about? So she in her in her mind, she's trying to make it seem like, well, I mean, it's his relationship. So I mean, I don't understand why y'all asking me. Y'all should just ask him. Like, what did he say? What was his response? Girl, we need to see if this is gonna correlate because y'all, we gonna see if any of this is gonna line up because y'all be in line. Like I Y'all not going to tell me that I'm wrong about this. Didn't I tell y'all since the first episode where they went on their first date that this was some foolishness and that this was some snake stuff? Didn't I tell y'all this? They started off all the way wrong off rip anyway. So I already knew that we were going to be in for some foolishness. So when she first came on the scene, Darian had never seen her to our you know, knowledge as far as on this show. If they've seen each other before, whatever. But 
when she came to the house to meet him for their first date and he had never seen her, he opened the door, disrespectful things were happening. And then Alexia asked, you know, what happened? Did he do something or whatever? And I mean, I don't know if she saw something or, you know, did production look a kind of way like, hmm, like what happened for her to even ask that? So she was like, oh no, he was the perfect gentleman. And like he hugged her or something, grabbed her hand or something. They, they, they had each other's hand or hugged or something like that, y'all, off rip. But then you're going to lie about it. That's my issue. Don't sit up here and say, oh, no, he was a perfect gentleman. He didn't do anything. Now, we're going to go ahead and get out of your hair and go on this date. Like, no, you already started off wrong. So, y'all already was lying off rip. So, I, I, I can't. So, anyway. So, yeah, she came out and everything that he wanted to be said was said. She just sat up here talking about, well, we're in a relationship. So, everybody's like, what you mean you're in a relationship? So, Kai barely even knew that he was proposing to her that a ring was purchased that was going to be given to Alexia after Alexia said to Dr. Nicole that I am done with this process. I ain't got time for it. And after she went and told the rest of the castmates she was done, he was sitting up here like, oh no, I want her. He done went, got a ring, and he was steadily trying to get in contact with her to no avail. She wasn't here for it. And she was just like, I need better in my life. He ain't giving me what I need. He ain't giving me what I want. I'd have been with him for 14 years on and off. No. And you just sat up here and did the most. Y'all tell me why this man really sat up here and was like, he really tried to play her. He really tried to play her. Tried to make it seem like, oh no, all these things are lies. Oh, like he really, like he was team Kai. And I was just like, why are you acting as if, see, 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 I felt triggered. I got to explain this to y'all. I felt so triggered in this moment because my ex set it off for a random heifer when we were supposed to be discussing why, you know, things were happening. Why are you doing what you're doing or whatever? Because you didn't got caught up. So you over here defending a whole heifer you shouldn't have had no ever, ever having any association with. But when it comes to me, you're telling this random heifer about my existence when I didn't even know about hers and I had to find out on my own on accident. So I'm already offended and then some. I have already been betrayed by you. You have already tried me to the utmost. Like you got me out here. Looking crazy because I'm thinking that we are working towards marriage, but you over here dipping, dipping in and doing it and doing what you want to do as if you are single out here. When your whole family been asking you, okay, when is the wedding? I'm trying to be at the wedding. I want to be, if you're going to the courthouse, I don't even care if y'all doing that. I want to be there so I could be a witness, but you sitting up here busting it wide open and telling them to bring it back and telling them all about me. When I don't even know about this person's existence until I find out on accident way after the fact. And see, that's why I go so hard for Alexia because like Alexia said, she feels as though had that closure meeting not happened, she would have sat up there and gotten engaged to him because ain't no way. I don't think Smoke, I don't think Smoke would have said nothing before that. I don't think Smoke would have, I don't think he would have fessed up. Because Kai said what she said. Because as soon as she dropped that bomb out of her mouth, he was just like, mm. And it's like, you know you're wrong, Smoke. You know you're wrong. That's why you're looking like that. That's why you had that reaction. Because you knew you was wrong. And you had been going up in that house. And then, and then you wonder why she already is trying to trust you and don't trust you. Even though she's trying to say... Even though she's saying out of her mouth, I trust you. I'm going to trust what you're saying. She don't trust you. So all of this time, her women's intuition was correct because you were being trash out here doing what you was doing. I hit thotting and bopping. But then you're going to get mad when she don't want to have sex with you. Forgive us for, you know, not wanting to, you know, have STDs and things brought home to us possibly because you out here thotting and bopping. Excuse us for finding out that you've been out here thotting and bopping 
But then you think we finna turn around and be a nasty dancer for you and, and having all these these special requests laid out on the table for you. I don't be understand like stuff like that. It really is disturbing. And it's like, like I told y'all before, I really was rooting for smoke, but the narcissism did come out. And after some time, the narcissism in my ex came out. So it's like, while I'm seeing all this stuff off, I'm like, oh no, please, please let me be off. Let, let, let everything I'm seeing and feeling is what it is with smoke. Let me be all the way off. Let me be all the way in left field. Let me be wrong because I'm rooting for him because everybody is not the same. A lot of people grow up and say, this is not the life for me. I was out here dying and bopping. I got three, four kids with other people. So obviously I was out here stroking. That's what I've been doing. So I mean, we're not going to sit up here and make it seem like you ain't never been out here. We're not going to act like we don't know that. But the fact that you love talking about, oh, I ain't never had nobody in the condo. We're going to get to the condo in a few minutes, y'all. We're going to get back to the condo in a few minutes. But the fact that you steadily made a point to say, I only had the condo so that I didn't have to go back and forth and do all this other stuff because the condo was closer to the studio than where your house was at. Like, y'all, I just can't. So anyway, oh, I'm trying to just... <laughs> like, Y'all, I'm exhausted. I, um, I'm actually about to go to a baby shower. I got to change. <sighs> it was so last minute, y'all. I'll tell y'all about it um, tomorrow because I'm not going to have time to even tell y'all about it today. Like, the most is like, like I, I need to start leaving out within the next 15, 20 minutes. Hopefully, if this will load by 2.15... Y'all, I don't even think I'll be done with this by 2.15. Anyway, sorry about that. Y'all, my mind is all over the place. I'm tired. It's just a lot going on. So anyway, but yeah. um, But yeah, Smoke really is sitting up here trying to play that card and trying to make it seem like she's a liar. And well, how dare you? And really is trying to play that, play that role like Alexia is the bad guy when he was the one out here feeding her all of these lies. But now she's the bad guy and how dare you? And I'm just like, what? Like, I can't. But then you sit up and tell myself, I don't want to get married right now. I want you to have these babies for me. So Alexia brought up a good point. She was like, you know what I'm saying? He was really sitting up here trying to make it seem like, oh, okay, we're going to be good, whatever, whatever. And it's crazy how the same thing that he did is exactly what my ex did to me. After a lot of stuff was out in the open. It's like a light bulb clicked on. He was like, oh, no, I had something amazing right here with me that I've been with for years. Let me do right by them. So in Alexia's case, Smoke was doing right by her. And like she was in a great space in her mind. She thought everything was amazing. He had been treating her right. Doing like it was just the, had a, keeping a smile on her face and everything. Actually acting attentive, being at the house, doing things you're supposed to do when you are supposed to be in a monogamous relationship. Well, this was all a guy's because he was hiding behind the fact that he had been out here busting it wide open with Kai. Not just Kai. We'll get into that because that was not on the, uh, the uh, reunion special. But like I said, we'll get into that. So anyway... Yeah, you over here doing all of this. And so, like, Alexia tried to be respectful towards her, but she really kept trying to try her and was like, I ain't had no issues with her. I actually thought she was very pretty when I first saw her. And I'm like, Kai, she still is pretty. Like, what is we talking about? Like, you, we not even finna go there. Alexia is still pretty. So, don't try to make it seem like she's all ugly all of a sudden. That, to me, that gives off the vibe that like 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 some dudes do, they live for you. They all in the moment of living for you until you reject them. And then all of a sudden, you're the ugliest thing that was ever walking. Oh, okay, I was just fine just a minute ago, but, but go off though. So yeah, it's just too much going on. Smoke, I mean, I, in all honesty, I hate to say this, but Alexia, he told you exactly who he was. He told you that he didn't grow up in an environment 
where he saw marriage as something amazing like that. And I get that. But at the same time, there are a lot of people who didn't grow up in that type of environment. And marriage is amazing for them. And they are doing well as a husband or a wife. But in his case, he for these streets. It just is what it is. And I hate that for her because she put so much of her time on the line. She just sat up here and retired early. Because she felt like, oh, well, I'm overseas a lot. Let me, you know, just make sure I'm at home base. So I ain't got to worry about the possibility of my relationship slipping away, even though it had already slipped away years ago. She was 19 years old when she started fooling with him. And it's like, girl, you done wasted your life. And my thing is this. I understand because I done wasted mine too at one point in time. So I get it. But yeah, he's sitting up here to myself. It's been 14 years of lies and all this other stuff. So like I said, Kai's out there. They, of course, are showing their clip and all this other stuff of how everything happened. They living together, y'all. They living together. She said that she was about to be on the vert. Well, I don't think they said nothing about that. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting it mixed up because some stuff that was said outside of the show and some stuff that was said on the show has happened. So anyway, uh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to tell y'all about the condo. So anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, this heifer starts getting very, very upset, Kai, because she was just, Alexia was like, look, you know, I thought that everything was okay. I didn't think it was that deep with him and Kai because he would come home after his days and be like, she ain't all that. She, ain't, you know, ain't on my radar like that. That ain't nobody you got to worry about. And Kai was like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about because the first date we had, he was like, before you leave here, you're going to give me your number. And look, I don't remember if that part was on the reunion, but I'm just telling y'all that's what this heifer did say out of her mouth. Uh, that might have been on the little thing that I saw. <clears throat> but anyway, eventually Kai gets upset and walks off and was like, I can't do this. I can't do this no more. And it's like she the stormed off. He done ran behind her. Like he is like be, be beyond disrespectful to uh Alexia at this point. And I'm just like, bruh, I can't. Like, you dodged the book. Well, if she decides to stay away from him, because I don't know what's going on. I'ma tell y'all some more stuff. But yeah, um, he done followed up behind her. They done went into a bathroom. He done closed the door, tailor production to get out the way. So then she wants to know, is she the rebound? Like, am I the rebound woman? Like, what is going on here? Because Alexia was like, you played your role. You knew what it was. You knew what was going on. So, <laughs> but yeah, Darian was sitting up there. I'm sorry, Smoke. Smoke been up here lying to folks and manipulating folks and just doing the most. And it's to the point where she tied in her spirit. And, you know, Egypt has eventually gone behind her and is trying to explain to her, you do realize that, he played you and Alexia, right? So instead of you basically trying to attack her, like, I'm going to need you to understand that he he did, he didn't did this to both of y'all. Like, girl, calm down. But yeah, she and her feelings, and I mean, I'm, I somewhat understand, but at the same time, I'm just like, girl, bye. I ain't really trying to hear it because of the foolishness that ensued because she sat up here and started off on the wrong foot anyway with me. So anyway, y'all, um... That's pretty much what happened on the reunion special. Uh, there is a uh, someone who did an interview with Kai. Kai said that the condo is not in his name. It is under some other name to the point where uh, if he didn't have this agreement with the landlord, then he would have to get up out of there. I don't know what's going on with that. It was a whole, like, it's a whole, it's a big to-do. Then she said that um, they've had sex multiple times. He tried to make it seem like it was, like, the same day. Like, everything happened within a 24-hour span, and that's it. Like, after that happened, that was it. Well, I don't believe that. Whatever. So, anyway, uh, Kai said that, like, the next day, or within 24 hours of her having sex with him, he was, uh, she caught him at the condo with some random white woman. I'm like, oh, 
sounds a whole lot like the same way you get them is the same way how you going to get to losing them, heifer. So, I mean, what what is, are you mad? Were you mad about that or something? Anyway, she's trying to make it seem like she's no longer with him. Child, this heifer said that uh, uh, he barely is able to get his own vehicle. I heard that he was barely able to get his own vehicle. The vehicle that he took her out on a date in was Alexia's truck and... I think Smoke had the, had the audacity to try to say something about her, Alexia, her father helping her to pay for her truck. But he ain't even got a vehicle. And he was using her to try to help him get a vehicle. Like, it's like, woo, child, how you gonna sit up there and try to read somebody when they have a loving family member or whatever that's helping them? But you ain't even got nothing. But you basically was, I don't know, it seemed like it was, he was kind of using her a little bit. Like, I was like, child, do you get any of the royalties from them, from them songs at this point? Like, what is going on? I don't know what's going on, y'all. It was too much. But a lot of the conversation, it sounded like Darian uh, slash Smoke coached her on what to say. Because... She was not apologetic for anything that she said, really. And it was just very disheartening because it's like, girl, calm down. Uh, her sister jumped into Alexia's DMs to try to talk to her. It's like, whatever. Apparently, they run in like similar circles. They have mutual friends. And she felt some type of way because Alexia was reaching out to them. And it's like... If these people are her friends, like, why wouldn't she say, oh, well, you know her too? Okay, so, and then, you know, vent or whatever it is she's doing. Like, you can tell that Alexia is, is hurt. This was 14 years of her life. Like, again, she was 19 years old when she got with him. And he been trying her since day one, apparently. So it's like, she's coming from a hurt place. And I mean, Alexia was pretty much the bigger person the entire time, anytime anything was said to her, you know, and you could just tell how she was coming at her. But y'all, it was just too much. It is too much. If y'all want to try to check out what I'm talking about, because Alexia uh, did an interview last week. Um, I think this was the first person that she saw. And if it's not, definitely I was told that uh, this was Kai's first interview. She she sent the guy some um, text messages and all this other stuff. Um, apparently, Darian Smoke put some up online too or whatever. I don't know what's going on, but Smoke is confusing because the first thing that I saw when I first even heard of this person was a clip from the interview that he did with her. And he, while he was in the middle of interviewing her, he was calling her. Smoke was calling Alexia. So this was after the reunion had already been shot and all of this. So I was like, you really, like, if, if you saw the reunion, if you saw the way that he was so disrespectful towards Alexia, it's like, you did all of that. And you think she wants you after that? I really hope that she don't take him back after all that because he was so disrespectful. He was just so childish. He and Kai need to grow up. Like, this was ridiculous. Like, I don't understand what she felt like she was going to get out of this situation because Smoke does not have anything to offer. Um, she sat up there and was saying that she loved him even though he's a narcissist. I was like, girl, girl, why? I, I can't. So anyway, y'all, it's just a lot. Uh, I think the name of the YouTube channel is... LLB91, and I think that's Little little Black Book 91 or something like that. Little something something. LBB91, I think, is what it's called, or 92. I don't forget. But um, if that's not it, y'all remind me down in the comment section, and I will tell y'all where it is. And I'll just put the link to um, his interviews with the two of those ladies in the description box slash comment section. For y'all to check it out yourselves. But it's a lot. I'm tired. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I. 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 Uh. One thing that I did leave out was that. Jessica and Eric are. Um, holding off on their wedding plans. Because. They are building a home in Florida. 
I just don't think they need to be getting married at all because they need a whole lot of counseling, a whole lot of therapy, individual, couple, all of that. But anyway, y'all, hopefully y'all enjoyed the recap review of this. I'll be back another day with something else. I got to get ready for this baby shower. Y'all have a good one and be safe out there.